Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I'm at the crater of Diamond State Park and today I'm gonna fill up 16 buckets of material off the surface. I won't be digging a hole. Um, when you scrape the surface, you can get just as many diamonds and a lot less work. Hopefully that'll be the case today. So stick around and maybe you'll get to see me find another diamond. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is check the east drain, which is right here. When you walk out onto the field, it's the first drain. That's the east drain that has produced the most diamonds from all the other places you can dig out here. This has produced the most. Most of mine that I have found came from this east drain. I'm up to 30 diamonds. Kind of look around and see if there's some gravel to get. I don't really see a whole lot showing you know there's quite a bit right here a lot of silt that's what i don't want in my bucket is all that all this stuff you know so i'm gonna kind of walk around and try to find the best spot to get our material for today and get that big shiny two carat after a good hard rain, that's your best odds to finding a surface find. That diamond will just be shining away and all you have to do is pick it up. That's one of my goals before I uh, hang up my boots is to try to get a uh, surface find. <laughs> you won't get them if you're not looking just see a lot of nice gravel right here it's all just piled up right there got some agate jasper all kinds of good stuff i'm going to set up at the south wash pavilion today Okay, I'm in the new trench that was made in October. I'm at the very south end of the park. And what I'm gonna do what I'm going to do is all this has ran downhill right along here. And I'm gonna go and scrape up all these low spots, all these washouts, and clean all that gravel out. Get all this gravel up. And just scrape these bottoms here. It's just loaded with gravel. So that's the game plan. Time to fill up some buckets. Okay, I'm out of breath, like always out here. Um, as you can see, I have my buckets pretty well uh, spaced out where I think I can get some gravel. Lots of gravel here. Look at all that. Sweet. Look at all this. I got some red. See some red. That's good. Lots of red. So I'm going to kind of focus on just this area right here and see if I can get a diamond. I don't know, I may just get all of this stuff right here. It's the same stuff as when you dig a deep hole they work really hard for. It's right here. You don't have to do all that work. And it doesn't happen that often here at the Crater of Diamonds. So I may just work on getting as much of this that I can. Yeah, 
I have all the buckets filled up. Total of 16. So now it's time to get them up to the wash station. Okay, I got two buckets washed. And as you can see, it doesn't look like much in there. Just a bunch of clay. But wait until you see what's in this stuff. Notice all the gravel that was trapped in all that clay. And this over here was some gravel that James Archer was after because how do I know that? Because I found an old Dr. Pepper can with the old pool tab and that was his favorite drink out here was Dr. Pepper's. So if James Archer was in this stuff, it's probably some pretty good gravel. You can notice here all the red jasper. Lots of red jasper, so I can't wait to get this stuff worked. Okay, here is the bottom screen. Noticed all the gravel. Nice piece of quartz. Look at all that gravel. Sweet. I'm just down here at the pig pen area letting my feet dry get some air there's been some really big diamonds found in this area okay the stuff I'm washing is really difficult to wash it's full of clay and it's taking like 20 minutes a bucket I would say and I may run out of time to get them all washed but that's okay I'll get what I can get done and that's all you can do out here well it looks like I ran out of time today those buckets were, were very hard to wash lots of clay the gravel is unbelievable so hopefully it'll produce a diamond so I will be finishing that up at the house. Because I wasn't able to finish, doesn't mean I can't take this material home. Each person is allowed one five gallon bucket of your concentrates. So I'll take them home and get them centered up and see what I got. We'll see you back in Texas. Hey everyone, welcome to Texas. Now we're going to work the material through some more classifiers because there's so much gravel in that clay and there's still a little bit of clay I need to break up so I have uh, one more classifier I have two here but we'll just use one these are my number six and the number ten and when I say number six and number ten that's meaning the wire gauge that's how you go by your screens is by wire gauge that's a number 10 wire could fit through that and a number six wire could fit through this so we'll just break it through the down through here that'll help get the clay and then go back to this bottom screen here here's the set that i have at the crater and then we'll use this bottom screen to catch everything and then use the saruka here is the gravel you can just see how much is in there. It's 
So it's going to be a good idea to go ahead and classify this one more time. Okay, so I have my two screens. don't have my apron on. So gotta be careful. I don't want to get wet. Might have been too much. Once. Yeah, look what fell in. Good thing I'm redoing that. Look at that rock chunk of jasper so this will help get everything separated I may have put way too much oh, golly it's just not going through I mean this stuff is super thick with gravel it's just crazy Man, there's a lot of clay I want to get all that clay out there's gravel in that clay there could be diamonds in that clay it's starting to get thinner just so much gravel it seems to be more of the the bigger rocks are now just on it. So and a few more times. Here is the top screen. As you can see, all the smaller rocks have fallen through. And Seeing a big diamond, darn it. Doesn't mean there isn't one. Time to put this in a bucket and work the bottom screen. Then we'll do some centers and get those heavies. That bottom screen is full. It's crazy. Okay, here is the bottom screen, and look at all that gravel. Focus. Crazy. Let's scrape the bottom. That's nuts. Wow, look at all that. Oh, look at all that spinel. Solid spinel. That's a good sign. Spinel is one of the best heavy indicators you can get. All right, good deal. I'm excited to get this stuff centered up. I have the uh, gravel separated from the uh, number six screen to my number 18. Another Saruka that I made, and it's a number 32 screen, very small. I wanted to be able to make centers with the silt out of the bottom of this number 18 because there's diamonds that small that are under a point. So. I wanted to get every little diamond you could get. I'm gonna put the number 18 back in the water and go ahead and get these two buckets uh, centered up and see what heavy minerals we have. We've seen a lot of spinel, which is a very good sign. I realized I had that much spinel or I'd go back, or I'd have stayed and got all that gravel. So when I go back, hopefully it'll still be there. That was on the far north end. So remember, I was on the far north. All right, time to get this centered up and see if we have a diamond or two. I have this uh, floor mat that I like to flip my centers on. That way I don't lose any material. And that's basically all I use it for. It's already got a nice little padded surface so I'll just throw that over here we'll start with the big stuff what in the world like a piece of ice but it's a uh, quartz Great. remember 
where you gotta give the stuff a good bounce and get aggressive. That gets that diamond and heavy minerals to sink. If you don't do it, it's not gonna sink. Okay. Water drain. Two flips out of the bigger material that's all we had was two you can see there normally you won't see spinel this size or you will see barite and if you do see spinel that size you're in a good spot and same with the barite calcite would be good it's, you know calcite is not a good indicator but you have the size of that it may not be a bad idea to dig in that area Here's more of the heavies over here in this pile. You can see right there, right here. That looks like a big diamond. Well, if it is a big diamond, I better keep it a secret. That would be a, over a one carat. Okay, here is the first one of the smaller screen, the bottom screen. Get all that stuff to settle. Come on, diamond. So it looks like we'll get, this is number three, and I have just a little bit, not enough for a center, but we'll take some of this material over here and put it in the bucket to make it a, a full flip. There is hematite out there, and the hematite is not magnetic, at least not at the Crater of Diamonds. There's magnetite, which is, and then there's hematite, which is a very good indicator, one of your best with the magnetite. So we'll get a magnet here in a minute and see if any of that is magnetic. And if it is, you have magnetite. But if it's not, the hematite is really good as well. I once found some material at the crater from the old African wash. That's the big rusty uh, piece of equipment out in front of the uh, visitor center. It's right out front and I got 18 buckets of that and it had a quarter carat diamond in it and the centers were just solid hematite and magnetite. Right, let's scoop these up and first let's take a look at them and then we'll scoop them up see what I get. Okay that's what we have left to center up and flip so I'll need to take some of this material after I remove the centers and here's the first flip. We'll take some of this stuff and add to that to help make a full make it a full flip and you can just see all that dark that looks like a giant big chunk of spinel right there that's crazy it's probably the biggest chunk of spinel so a matter of time this will probably spit out a diamond and you want to wait for your centers to dry because everything's shiny when you flip it and everything else is going to dry out and look pretty dull and the diamonds will still shine there's flip two not bad check out the third one there's the center 
Looks like some more heavies over here. Not too bad. All right, I'm gonna double check these and get them scooped up and get that last one flipped. Okay, I'm on the third flip and it, there's something really brown, like a brown looking diamond, right? Not sure if y'all can see that. Right at the top of where my finger was, right in here, right there at the bottom of my thumb, there's a brownish looking diamond. Or a brownish it's got a look of a brown diamond I don't know if it is a diamond yet I just noticed it so I'm going to try to scoop that out and put it to the test last flip made the last flip of the smaller stuff and got the heavies in the gold pan and let's see what we got the bottom of the bucket is normally the best when you've traveled five hours to get home all that heavies settled and you can see there's a lot of stuff to look through on the tray Some good looking stuff. I'm gonna have to go back and keep working in this spot. Sometimes it takes 40 buckets to get a diamond. Okay, I made the flip from the bottom screen. And look at all that spinel. So it, it's in a I'm in a good spot. It'd be nice to see all this spinel in my uh um, larger screen when I say large like I'm just you know the number uh, uh, 16 like the Saruka that's a good indicator just to have this much of it let's see let's see if we can get down closer isn't that crazy Do you see a diamond? What I have here is a earth magnet, very strong. And we're gonna see if there's any magnetite. Oh yeah, look at all that just. So we do have magnetite. Some more over here. A couple on that side now. So it looks like we have a lot of hematite, the shinier black rock, spinel. So we have a lot of good heavy minerals. I may need to go back and just work another 20 buckets to get my diamond. <laughs> well, that's it for now. Uh, the wind's starting to pick up. I hope you all enjoyed what you've seen today. The gravel was really good. We've seen a lot of spinel, which is very good. A lot of magnetite. The hematite is good. Just didn't see any diamonds, but you can't really expect to get a diamond out of that few buckets. It takes average 20 buckets to get a diamond. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If we could get 200 likes on this video, I will make a trip to the Crater of Diamonds and dig where I found a half carat diamond and five buckets and that's called the snake pit i'll take everybody to the snake pit and we can really get some big diamonds in that area until next time everyone take care hey i'm at the diamond discovery center 
And if you look over here, you can see a man named Marshall Reef. And a lot of you may wonder how I got my nickname, uh, Diamond Miner Ivans. It was this man right here. I talked to Marshall for a good couple years and he's the one that gave me the nickname. This man found it, over a thousand diamonds one year. Probably a total of about 3,000 diamonds. You can pause this and read it. Very knowledgeable diamond miner.